You are making a giant mistake. Trump warns tech giant Twitter on censoring conservatives. When do the lawsuits begin? President Trump warned Twitter again on Sunday to allow First Amendment rights to conservative users. President Trump, Twitter should let the banned conservative voices back onto their platform, without restriction. It's called freedom of speech, remember. You are making a giant mistake. Twitter, Facebook and Google YouTube have been censoring and banning conservative voices since the 2016 election. The Gateway Pundit has reported on this extensively over the past few years. We reported in July 2018 that Twitter has long been accused of censoring conservatives. Twitter even censors and shadow bans the President of the United States, Donald Trump's Twitter account, at RealDonaldTrump. In July 2018 we reported that a study by the leftist website Vice News found that Twitter is censoring top pro-Trump lawmakers. Twitter is targeting pro-Trump Republican lawmakers Matt Gates, Devin Nunes, Mark Meadows, Jim Jordan, and John Ratcliffe with the same shadow banning technique. Twitter is also censoring prominent pro-Trump accounts including, Mike Cernovic, Jack Pazabisi, Paul Joseph Watson, TGP's Jim Hoft, TGP's Cassandra Fairbanks and Laura Loomer among others. In July there was even video proof that President Trump's Twitter page is being censored. Gateway Pundit contributor Christina Lila received a notice in 2018 that her tweet violated Pakistani law. What the H asterisk LL? The president has over 57 million followers on his account but rarely does he receive more than 20,000 retweets or 100,000 likes on his tweets. And a study published at Quillette by Professor Richard Hanania at Columbia University found that Twitter censors conservatives over liberals at a 21 to 1 ratio. Ultimately Twitter, Facebook and Google YouTube will face lawsuits for their continued attacks on conservative users. It must happen.